Warning. This video contain high amounts of bullsquite and can escalate very fast. People who think that stereotypes are boring and meaningless might want to see swatching and go play travel scrabble. Or stay and leave the comment shut up gg. Have fun. Hey everybody, gg here. Do you have a favorite ability? Do you want me to smack talk about them? And do you wish dancing was an ability? Well, if you answered yes to the last question, do not worry. I've been talking to Nintendo about the boomy dance and all that, and they never answered me back, so no. But if you answered yes to the first two questions, you came to the right place because this is... Splatoon 2 Ability Stereotypes! Where I will talk about every single Splatoon 2 ability and the personality related to it. With that being said, enjoy! I fired and I missed. So I fired again. It's not spamming. It's called zoning. Out of it. Wait, 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 never mind. Time to use my secret technique. 200 CC frantic items. Dying ain't that bad. Mine's bigger. It's not the same. Auto bombs transform and roll out. I like to overextend. The burst bombs? They scare me. What do you mean, no more echolocator? Let's make this quick. I have to go to the bathroom. Top 10 anime comebacks! My teammate sucks. And I love it. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Bring the marshmallows! We're going camping! Hey, team! F*** that guy! Cool! I always wanted a bad point sensor. Everyone should play less. Including me. Scrub it up, dub. Now with 50% less stealth. Beacons ruin my marriage. It's just like Dark Souls. <laughs> and that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, if you want to see a specific kind of stereotypes for the next episode, just tell me in the comments and I'll be glad to do it. And with that being said, stay fresh, everybody. <laughs>